If Michael Bay should get credit for anything amongst the Michael Bay haters, it's the fact that he tried to warn us in advance that the runtime is 2 hours and 45 minutes. So Transformers Age of Extinction is the fourth movie of the Transformers movie that's directed by Michael Bay with a completely new cast. There's no Shia LaBeouf, no Shia LaBeouf parents, no John Turturro, no Tyrese, no Josh Tamil, no Shia LaBeouf girlfriend, no other and much hotter girlfriend. When I heard that Mark Wahlberg is going to be in the new Transformers movie, I instantly thought I didn't really have a problem with Shia LaBeouf in the other movies. But Mark Wahlberg looks like a better fit for these movies than Shia LaBeouf ever did. These movies get a lot of flack from being directed by Michael Bay. These Transformers movies are not all that great, but I like them personally. I think people are just too hard on them because my theory is, is that people let their nostalgia for the old Transformers toys and cartoons cloud their judgment of these movies. Now, I'm not a Michael Bay hater. I like the other Transformers movies. Yeah, the second one was a little off. The third movie was actually my favorite of the series. Bad Boys 1 and 2 are some of my favorite action movies of all time. I liked Penny Gain. It was one of my favorite movies of last year. I've seen Pearl Harbor, I've never seen Armageddon, nor The Island, and to my everlasting shame, I have never seen The Rock. Let me just say right off the bat how I feel about these movies, or any other movie that's based off of an existing franchise. When it comes to movies that are based off an existing franchise, I'm not looking for something that captures my nostalgia for the franchise, I'm not looking for a faithful adaptation for the franchise, I just want a good movie. Now was Age of Extinction a good movie? In my opinion, it was, but compared to the fans and critics, it's not, so I'm going to address what worked and what didn't work. The premise of Age of Extinction is you have Mark Wahlberg, who is in The Happening, which is an M. Night Shyamalan movie, and you got Nicola Plitz, or Plitz, or whatever, however you say her name. She was from The Last Airbender, another M. Night Shyamalan movie. So pretty much, the Decepticons come back to kill anyone that was in any bad M. Night Shyamalan movie. There, best synopsis ever. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, but you have to admit, that would be pretty cool, right? The real premise is that the humans have broken all ties with the Autobots and now they're being hunted by some robot bounty hunter. His name is Lockdown and he's actually working with the humans against the Autobots. Mark Wahlberg finds Optimus Prime and then the government finds out and then Optimus Prime intervenes and then him and Mark Wahlberg and his family goes on this little journey to assemble all of the remaining Autobots to find out why the humans have turned against them. For the human characters, I like the addition of Mark Wahlberg's character. He's the dad that's down on his luck, he's relatable, and I actually like his character more than Shia LaBeouf's character in the other movies, though I do appreciate Sh Shia LaBeouf's character in the other movies, though. His daughter is played by Nicola Plitz, or Pel- Ugh, forgive me for mispronouncing names, I'm sorry. But I was skeptical about her being in the movie because, again, she was in this. But recently I watched her on the show Base Motel, and she's actually not that bad on that show. But in this movie, what else can I say? She was that hot daughter that was Michael Bayified. But they kind of give her layers in this movie, though. Like, she's the daughter of the father that just wants to make money for her so that she can go to college, but she thinks that there's no hope. You know, it's a family that's down in her luck. And I really like what they did with those two characters. But my least favorite, the daughter's boyfriend. I didn't care about the boyfriend teaming up with the dad to save the daughter. I didn't give a shit about his shit. He was just this driver, that, and that's all that he was in the movie for. You could have taken him out of the movie, and the movie would be no different. However, I do feel like the movie got a lot better than it was with Stanley Tucci's character. Stanley Tucci's character is this business tycoon that has a technology firm. He ultimately finds the metal that creates the Transformers. People say that Michael Bay tried so hard to turn Stanley Tucci's character into the John Turturro character from the other movies. In the second act of this movie, I never really got that impression. Until the third act. Not necessarily saying that he was John Turturro's character, but he was just that character in a Michael Bay movie that tries to overdo it with comedy. As far as the Transformers themselves, I feel like you got a lot more screen time with them than you did in the other movies. I particularly like what they do with Optimus Prime losing faith in humanity because the humans have banded together with the Decepticons to turn against him and the rest of the Autobots. I thought that was awesome. Not only the Autobots and the Decepticons return, but we get the Dinobots. At the very end of the movie. There's a part of me that wishes we got more Dinobots, but a hey, for the time that they were on the screen, it was cool. My biggest issue with this movie is that it was so long because there was so much going on in this movie that it lacked focus. The first act of the movie, I was engaged, and then the beginning of the second act, I was engaged as well, but then after that, the movie started to slow down a bit. The third act, it just kept going and going and going and going and going and going and going. The first movie didn't feel long. The second movie, slightly longer. The third movie, the only reason that movie felt longer is because of that final action sequence. 
at least those movies have focus. There's a portion of the second act that they really could have cut out of the movie, and definitely in the third act, they definitely could have cut that down. Transformers Age of Extinction has a lot of action scenes and plot points going on in the movie that really isn't necessary. It's there for the sake of being there. At a point during the third act of the movie, I started checking my watch, and not because I was bored with the movie, but because the movie got to a point where it was like, all right, can we wrap this up, please? I don't mean to shit on this movie. The movie's still enjoyable, sure. I like the fans of critics that are bashing this movie because they don't understand that this is a simple action flick, all right? What more do you want? I'm just saying, this movie was long for no reason, and they really could have cut it down. In the end, I know it feels like I've shit on this movie more than I actually wanted to. I actually really did enjoy this as a Transformers movie, and as an action flick, it's really not that bad. If you like these movies, you will definitely enjoy it, but if you really legitimately don't like these movies because it has Michael Bay all over it, and it's not really the Transformers movie that you really wanted, I understand. I'm just saying, it was entertaining from where I stand with it. I'm probably going to end up buying this movie on Blu-ray anyway, because, let's face it, these movies look good on Blu-ray. Otherwise... I'm pushing to give Transformers Age of Extinction a B-. That's it for the day. You like what you see, you want to see more, subscribe to this channel, subscribe to my other channel. The links are in the description below. And be sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. And check out my website. Peace.